Hello again. Right then, what we're going to do now in this video is we're going to have a look at um, painting with those textures that we just found. Okay, so the first thing we will do um, is we're going to save this as something else. So file, save as. I'm going to call this terrain diffuse. Okay, so that's what I'm going to build my texture out of. So, okay. And then I'm going to flatten the image because this is just going to act as a guide now. So flatten image. So that's now just one layer. And I'm also going to increase the size so that I get a less blurry texture. So I'm now going to go to image, image size. Oh, that's ugly. And I'm going to choose pixels. And I'm going to make this 2048 by 2048, which will just add a lot more detail. There you go, and I'll just press Control and Zero again to make it fit. So it's exactly the same, but I'm operating at a higher resolution now, so my textures will look nicer. Okay, so first thing I want to do is lay down that dirt texture to cover everything. So I've got a sort of like an undercoat, really, so there's not going to be any gaps showing through. And that's really important. So in order to do that, I need to create a new layer. And I'm going to call this dirt. Lovely, and then I want to add uh, one of these FX layers here. So click on that, and I'm gonna choose a pattern overlay. Okay, and it's from here that we can see that I've put those patterns in. So what I now do is I find that pattern, so it's this one here, it should um, tell me what it is, although it doesn't, but it is that one there. So that's my dirt texture, and I actually saved them in order so I knew which way around I'd use them. So that's my Texture. And then this is important, before you click on OK, you've got to scale it down. So kind of how many times do you want it to tile? Um, so if I made it 10%, it would tile um, 10 times. If I made it 5%, it would be 20 times. And I think I want it to be about 5%, so it, it looks quite, um, quite tight, really. So I can then just click on OK. And now, the really cool thing is if I use my brush tool on... 100% and I can have a big ass brush if I just paint on this layer there you go I've now got that base layer of dirt that I wanted so I can now sort of leave that alone um, and that'll be okay so what I'll do is I'll hide that um, because that's just laying down the base layer and now we're going to actually sort of in the next video, look at how you add the different ones based on height. So we're going to use some selection tools to select different parts of the map to put these different colours on. Okay, so I will see you in the next video for that. Bye.